everybody. This is your boy Kenneth for Pointing from the K2 Spot. Giving you all a brand new video. And it's on Beyonce and Jay-Z's On The Run Tour. You know, that's the HBO special that, that aired um, last night on Saturday. And I know a lot everybody has questions about it. I know I'm, I'm going to give you my review on it. And it's also going to give I'm gonna answer any questions that you guys may have about, you know, what you might have heard or what you want to know. So hey, just bear with me. You guys might as well just relax because it may be, this video may be long, but I'm going to just give you guys the honest truth and shout out to all the, all the Beyonce and Jay-Z Jay fans. Hopefully you guys like this. Hopefully all my, my subscribers, all my fans love this. So here we go. Now the special, I'm going to let you guys know straight up when it begins off. It begins off. Um, this tour was amazing. The On The Run tour. But those of you guys that are um that didn't get to get a chance to see it, I missed it because it was here in my area, Miami, where it kicked off. But I didn't go because the ticket prices were a little hot, were high from my budget. But you know, it was it did really well from what I know of in here in Miami. But I know everybody in their different areas. You guys want to you know probably either seen it or probably just couldn't afford it. But I know you want to know the truth. So here we go. Now when it's, now when it starts off. The tour, you're going to see Beyonce in the fishnet outfit, you know, the fishnet, um, mat, you know, mat face mask that you guys see in, and the outfit, and you're going to see her in the black thong and all, and, you know, her and Jay, they come off together and they start singing 03 Bonnie and Clyde, which we all remember when they first did that song together and it just sparked everything that happened. And, you know, they did that and they broke, got into the next song, which they did together, Upgrade You, and then did a little bit of Upgrade You, and they went to the song that was a huge hit for them, Crazy In Love, that was Beyonce's track that was on her Dangerously In Love album. But then you get into, like, Kanye doing different stuff also. It breaks, and then you go to Kanye doing the remix of Diamonds from Sierra Leone, which we all know is Kanye's song. Kanye West, I should say. And then, you know, he go Because I'm going to let you guys know straight up why I'm going through these songs. Everything is going to be sequenced, but I'm going to go through... I may not hit everything... That you guys might have seen if you've seen the HBO special or if you haven't. So just don't fault your boy right here. But I just want to make sure this isn't too long-winded, if y'all understand what I mean. But Jay gets into his songs like, I just want to love you. Just want to love you. Give it to me. You guys know that song. One of my favorites was Tom Ford. And then you know you go back to Beyonce on Run the World Girls. And then, you know, she did Flawless, and she did the original version and the remix with Nicki Minaj. And Nicki Minaj was a special guest. And this was all taken in Paris, France. If you guys didn't know, if I didn't say it in the beginning, let me just say it now. This was all in Paris, France, the last last tour date. But Nicki Minaj, you did a great job with the remix with B, and y'all was killing it. I'm not going to lie. I was very, very impressed. Nicki, you looked it fantastic. And I had to really say that. I really do mean it. You look fantastic. And I was like, wow, Nikki, look at you and B. I'm like, all right. Now, you know, after um, they, after Flawless, they went to Beyonce, which is one of my songs off Beyonce self-titled album that's out right now, which y'all should get. And then, you know, I just like how they got into Beyonce and they flipped it to Jigga's song, to Jay's song, Jigga, my nigga. You don't know what I mean. And then, you know, you're going to dirt off your shoulders. And then, you know, I like the... After they did Dirt Off Your Shoulders, they went to how they did Beyonce. Beyonce remixed Naughty Girl, and it was more Arabic feel. You know, it was Arabic anyway, but it, she remixed it. When y'all say, you know what I'm talking about. And then, you know, went to Big Pimpin' from Jay. And, you know, back to Beyonce with Ring the Alarm. And then, you know, they kept going back and forth to each of the songs. But I'm going to let you guys know... Because I know everybody has questions, and I'm going to answer this question, because I know everybody wants to know. The the Beyonce and Jay-Z run trailer that we all seen on YouTube and everything, everybody will know. Is this a part of the tour? The answer is yes, it is. And I know my best friend, Phil, who has his YouTube channel, Forever Brand TV, I know. Shout out to him, because I know he wanted to do this review, and I know he doesn't have HBO. I know a lot of you guys don't have HBO. So I understand, so I want to shout out to my boy Phil, if you're watching this, I'm doing this for you, because I know me and you, we both love B and J, so let's get, let's go back into this right here. Now also, one of my highlights, and I was really, really loved, was when they go, when they going back to forth with all the old school songs, but especially when Beyonce did, um, what can I say was a highlight for me? 
just the whole, oh my gosh, you guys. I'm just like so in all of it. I'm just like losing my train of thought. And y'all know your boy don't want to lose that train of thought. But, you know, I love it when they did the, um, what can I say? You know, Randy Alarm, like I said, um, she remixed Diva. And I was like, at first I was like, oh gosh, she's going to remix Diva. But it actually sounded really good. And then when she went to Haunted and um, Ghost, Beyonce, girl, you killed that. And I really do mean you killed that joint. I was like, all right. And I like the... How they went to Beyonce's Why Don't You Love Me? And y'all know her sister Solange wrote that song. So you know I have to give Solange a shout out. Uh, like hating on her because of the whole elevator situation. We're not going to go into all that. But you know. But I can't forget. before, And I also love the the um, performance of Drunk in Love. That J&B killed that. And I mean really killed that. It was like boom. When that came out. And then, you know, I like the, and, you know, Jay did Holy Grail and Beyonce did her, um, did a remix version of it because we all know Holy Grail is the song with Jay and Justin Timberlake. So, you know, Justin Timberlake wasn't there, but Beyonce, her, what Beyonce added to it, she made it sound so damn good. So, Beyonce, girl, did a good job on that. But then, which also surprised me is when, um, I'm not going to go through all the songs. Well, they did. I'm going to leave some surprises on there. Some I'm going to just let you know on that. So, on um, when Beyonce did If I Were a Boy, Sister Girl was killing it with the leather outfit. And she was wearing a lot of these outfits, like a lot of black leather, a lot of Versace, at least Saab, all the above. But when she did, after she did If I Were a Boy, she went to Lauryn Hill's X Factor. And I mean, usually I'm kind of critical on people when they remake other people's records. But Beyonce, you killed that shit when you did X Factor. And I felt the emotion when you did it. And I felt like you were singing it with, like, pain, you know, with just the pain and just, you know, of the song, how it's, you know, how Lauren sings it. You seem like you were channeling that, but you made it your own vibe. And I have to give you that, Beyonce, because not everybody can do a Lauren Hill track. It'll still sound good. And then, you know, you did, she went to other different stuff. And I, it was another highlight, I have to say, was when, what is, we know they kept showing clips and everything of the run, on the run tour, you know, all the footage that we always talk about, is it going to be a movie, D different stuff. And it was just like, it gave you like a Bonnie and Clyde type of feel. And another beautiful, I have to say, Beyonce, you did your thing when you did Resent you had this white bride dress. And this flower um, piece, headpiece, you looked it flawless, you looked it beautiful. And you was bringing tears in my eyes, singing resentment. And you was killing her saying, that bitch. She, was saying, we kept, she kept saying bitch in the song, because you gotta know how the song goes, if you haven't heard it already. But she had the audience feeling it, and they were like, yeah, Beyonce, yeah. And then, you know, Jay killed it with some of his classics. You know, like, Hard Not Life. Oh my gosh, H to the Izzo. I was like, oh man. But here's a treat because I know everybody want to know this one. When they showed the clip, because they kept going back and forth with shooting the clips from the run trailer. That's part of the tour. I know a lot of you guys are saying, is does the uh, Nancy Sinatra, even though it's a uh, Sonny Cher song, but everybody know the Nancy Sinatra uh, version of Bang Bang, He Shot Me Down. Beyonce, they showed it with Beyonce playing a jazz singer and, you know, Jay smoking his cigar and everything. And it was really good. Beyonce, you killed it. Even though they didn't play through the whole song, Beyonce, you, you know, they didn't play the whole song just from the clip. Beyonce, you killed it. It was just like, wow. Beyonce. And that's one of my favorite songs of all time. But Beyonce really made that justice. And I know for all the beehives and all the Jays fans, want to know, did they do On The Run Part 2? Hell, yes, they did. And they were killing it, especially when they were showing clips of, you know, different clips and everything of their wedding. And I'm going to let you know straight up. They show a lot. They show, you know, when Jay and Beyonce got married, the wedding footage they had, you know, the sand saying the Carters, you know, blue, their daughter blue. You know, she, you know, Beyonce was pregnant with her and she gave birth to her. 
They were showing all that. It was just so touching. I have to really say that. Very, very, very touching. And then I'm going to just end it off right now. Because I know everybody want to know. Okay. What do I have to rate it? Because there are some other songs. But I'm leaving that surprise. I'm not going to mention that. I want you guys to watch it. If you guys have HBO. Or when it. Because I have a film that's going to come out on DVD and everything. But Beyonce and Jay-Z, they really made me go back, want me to go back and listen to the, all their albums. Because when you guys see this HBO special, it's going to make you want to go back and listen to Jay's, all the Jay's albums, all the Beyonce's albums. And make you wonder, like, damn, this sounded good. Because they brought more, to me, they brought new life into it. And if I have to rate this, this was an A++++ plus 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 shot beautifully, black and white, you know, a lot of color. And I have to tell you one of the best tours and from what I heard this tour on the run tour grossed 100 million dollars this was worldwide from what I'm hearing 100 million dollars so shout out to the Carters y'all did y'all thing I know y'all be going like this and everything don't judge a brother if I can get it wrong but they did a great job so overall if you guys are Beyonce Jay-Z fans make sure you support them and if you haven't seen it, definitely, like I said, go check out the HBO special or just check out different clips. Because I'm sure it's going to be on YouTube, different clips of different stuff they've done. And if you guys are Beyonce and Jay-Z fans, make sure you guys push the thumbs up video by liking this video. Make sure you share the video and make sure you comment. If you've already seen the HBO special, Beyonce and Jay-Z on the run, let me know what you guys think about it. What, what was your favorite moments of the show? Or no, the special, I should say. Let me correct that. The special. Because I know I didn't tell you guys everything. Let me know what favorite highlights that you guys thought of. You know, overall, give me your honest feedback of the on the run. Um, spe HBO special. Did you like it? Did you feel like it was okay? You know, just be, be keep it keep it real. Don't be mean. If you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen it, don't comment. But definitely make sure you give me the honest feedback. And if you want to keep up with me right here, you keep up with me by following me on Twitter and Instagram at ktooks. The K2 Spot does have a Twitter page at K2 Spot. And also, if you want to subscribe, push the subscribe button down here. Or you can just go up here. Either or, you can subscribe to me, tell you the honest truth, let you know if it's good or bad, or if it's in the middle. Straight up. So, shout out to, like I said, to Beyonce, Jay Z, everybody part of the On the Run tour. Everybody, you did a fantastic job. Even for the HBO special, shout out to HBO. Everybody. Now, this is your boy Kenna. Sign up from the K2 spot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it made you understand Beyonce and Jay's tour more. So 